Let's come now together to share the word of God and to share a time of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day, for the beauty of it, or in the struggle within it, Lord, because those struggles cause us to be challenged and to grow in, in who we are and in what you show that we are capable of being. Lord, we, we pray for those who have struggles in their life, struggles that they're really having a hard time overcoming. We pray for those that, that feel all alone and isolated in their troubles. And so, Lord, we pray for the fellowship of your church, your people to grow, for us to reach out to one another and to those in our community you've given to us to serve, that we might be indeed, a Lord, a blessing unto them and a sign of care and compassion as we seek to be like Christ and Lord we we pray for the witness of Christ as it's given in your word as we explore it now as we look to that word in Christ's own words and the stories he tells the parables he gives and 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 the giving of your love through him even unto the cross where our salvation was made firm and true, that we might declare it to all generations that Christ has died for us, Christ has risen for us, and Christ lives forever, that we might live forever with you. Lord, we rejoice even as we pray. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. And so turning to the gospel today, we turn to one of the parables that Jesus told. And he told the story about stuff growing in the fields. He told a lot of stories about gardens and farmers' fields and all sorts of things. But in one of the stories, he talked about the, the seeds that get kind of thrown into the field. And you guys were walking through a field earlier. Yeah. And some of the seeds that got thrown into that field got taken away by the birds and eaten up. Remember seeing all kinds of birds pecking away at the field? I saw them in that field. And you saw them in, in yeah, they, they get into the fields right after the seeding. And Jesus said, those birds, well, I'll read it here from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12. Those by the wayside are them that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. He made a comparison between those kinds of seeds and people. That sometimes people will listen to the Bible and then not care. Even though the Bible is telling them good news and is telling them that God loves them and is telling them that Jesus died for them. The devil gets in the way, and the devil is a deceiver. That's kind of what the devil's name means, is one who tells lies and makes people believe lies, to take the word out of their hearts. And there's a lot of people that have heard the Bible, that have heard God's word, and then they go, meh. And that's pretty sad. We've been given God's word so that we might show that, share that word and show it to, to others and rejoice in it together. May God bless and keep you this day and may God's word settle deeply into your hearts and may you be reawakened to the truth that it reveals for you and the gospel it tells. Amen.